I'm all the way up. All right. Welcome back to Mr. Henderson's social studies class, April 20th and 21st. Today, what we're going to be working on is reform movements. Okay. Uh, we're, you know, in the last few years, you guys have been facing a lot of state testing since fourth grade. And like, that is a reform. About 10 years ago, they decided that they were going to change education to make it better. The problem they saw was that we as Americans were falling behind. They felt like uh, government felt like we were falling behind other countries. So they decided to make a change, all right? And that was called the reform. The reform movement was the common core reform movement. Um, no child left behind. So governments, encourage states to take on the state testing and the common core standards and they've decided that that was the change that we're going to make now it's up in the air whether or not that was a good change or a bad change there are other things that people see as negatives health care reform um, reform on immigration people identify a problem and they try to fix it that's what reform is they try to fix things so this week we're going to look at reforms of the 1800s. So we can see reforms today and we can see them with the 1800s. All right. So the first thing you guys are going to do on Monday after you watch my video today is you are going to watch a YouTube video that talks about reform movements of the 1800s. It's about five or six minutes long. It's going to talk to you guys about social reforms. All right. Things that needed to be changed things that were wrong or unjust in society in the 1800s. It may mention to you about reforms in jails, how jails were very crowded, very unsanitary, how there was mental institutions that were crowded and unsanitary, and they were throwing lots of people in there. And there was a woman named Dorothea Dix who decided that she was going to identify the problem and put spotlight on it so it could change or it could reform. It's going to talk to you about the temperance movement, how people were drinking a lot in the 1800s, and they tried to change it to make it so that people would drink less. Um, and that actually is an experiment in the 1920s where they make alcohol illegal in this country. Uh, the third one that you're going to focus on is in the 1800s is going to be education reform. Now, if you notice here, I put down also women's reform because we're going to talk about that next week. But the three that you're, or the one that you're going to really focus on this week is education reform. So on Monday, I want you to watch this video and it talks about education reform in the 1800s. And really you guys can blame this guy down here, Horace Mann, for the way that education is now. If you watch the YouTube video and you guys read this, I'd like you to answer these three questions. What is social reform? Describe two problems with education in the United States and describe two ways Horace Mann reformed education in the United States. You do not need to submit these questions. Okay. What you're going to do is after you've done this reading and you've watched the video, you will be doing an assignment the next day. Okay. You're going to be doing an assignment that is going to fall on, uh, Wednesday and Thursday. This assignment is only for Monday and Tuesday, but it will guide you for the assignment for Wednesday and Thursday. All right. Now, many of you guys got the question right last week. What was the two songs? The first one was the cha-cha slide. All right. Big party favorite. And the next one was a big 1980s movie and song, and it was called Footloose. It was called Footloose. Okay. Now, this week, what we're going to do is we're going to do something a little different, okay? We are going to do Mr. Henderson Trivia. Mr. Henderson Trivia. First question, what are my children's names? I have two children, one boy and one girl. What are their names? Second question, for 10 years, I coached a varsity sport in Nanuet. 
What sport was it? What sport did I coach for 10 years in Nanuet? Okay, guys, I'll see you guys on Wednesday with the next video. Again, you do not need to submit this. Have a great day. I'll see you on Wednesday.